The way that Wet'suwet'en people have been treated by government and industry is setting a precedent on how Indigenous people and how human rights will be violated in the future. I come from the Gedimden clan. I hold the name in the Cassia House, which is the grizzly bear house of the Wet'suwet'en Nation. We've been defending the territory against the Coastal Gas Link Pipeline, which is the biggest mega project in Canadian history and would have devastating effects for the climate around the world. All five clans of the Wet'suwet'en Nation have opposed the construction of any pipeline through our territory, including the Coastal Gas Link Pipeline. We're trying to protect our sacred headwaters with Zinqua for future generations. For thousands of years, our people have lived this way, and we want our children to be able to have these things in the future. This project violates our right to our lands, our indigenous rights, and our human rights because of all of the police violence that has occurred to push this pipeline through. Our people have been harassed, intimidated over the last several years. Our chiefs and our elders have been arrested, sentenced to jail time. I'm still waiting for sentencing for protecting my own territory and upholding Indigenous rights. We have to stand up to the atrocities that are happening to Indigenous people in so-called Canada.